Welcome back to the show. You're with me, Kachi Ofi, and this is Rise 360. Now, every single week, you agree with me that the one, the one thing we all look forward to is, well, some people, let me not say all of us, some of us look forward to the weekend. It's the time where we get to unwind. It's the time where we can spend time with family. We can spend time with our loved ones. That's what we want. We spend five days out of the week just working, grinding, striving hard to put food on our tables, doing the best that we can so we can get the weekend to unwind. And quite honestly, I think that is what the case is for a lot of people. Now, this particular concept is what has been dramatized in a movie that now everyone has been talking about. And we've talked about the transition from reality TV star to acting, but how easy is it? Is it something fun? Is it something expected? A couple of, a couple of days ago, I believe, I had some Nollywood veterans in the studio and we spoke about this. Well, it is interesting to, join the, to be joined by the other side of that conversation. The idea of just, you know, having reality stars transitioning into the industry. I am now being joined by two movie actors who are definitely looking forward to this industry called Nollywood and are taking it in their own right. By storm. Now they're trying their possible best to carve out their names within the industry. And I am joined from our Lego studio by Erica and Neo. They join me on Arise 360 now. Uh, part of the movie, A Weekend to Forget. Welcome to the show, guys. Lovely to have you on Arise 360. How are you feeling? Thank you for having us. I'm doing well. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Okay, so I want us to start out, and I'm going to begin with you, Erica. I want us to start out by talking about, you know, your transition into the world of Nollywood. I wouldn't really call it a transition for you, seeing as you had already started acting before you even did Big Brother. But still, what's it like even post that experience? Okay, so for me, a lot of people don't know that I actually went to film. I went to film school before Big Brother, but I had been acting movies that were not very popular. I had to introduce myself and say, I'm Erica, I'm an actress, and people would be like, are you sure you're an actress? So that's why I went for Big Brother, so people would know me, and then I channeled that fame into what I'm doing already, which is acting. After Big Brother, obviously, I've been getting the more popular movies, bigger roles, you know, bigger budgets, which is the dream of every actor. <laughs> Beautiful to know film school. What was that experience like? I know it's a lot of work. I mean, I know Ini Dima Okoje um, equally went to film school. And I know a couple of actors out there who have shared their yes. experiences. I have a friend who currently just graduated and she's like, Hachi, this was the most difficult experience I've ever had to deal with in my life. Well, I don't think it's so difficult, especially if it's your passion. So it's, I feel like every job has its ups and downs. So yeah, acting school was just for sharpening the skill I already had. And I got an opportunity to meet new people. I did it outside Nigeria. I did it in London. So it was, it was good. Oh, that's beautiful. Neil, join the conversation. Talk to me about acting for you. You know, Big Brother, was it also a place for you to just say, you know what, I want to sharpen my skills and just get into this industry? Or was it something that found you post Big Brother Niger? Um, well, for me personally, acting has always been something I was very passionate about, same as Nollywood. I've always um, admired actors. I've always admired every. I've always admired entertainers, basically, and I've always wanted to see myself on the big screen. And acting was something that I always felt like could have always, you know, been that place for me. So going on the show, going on reality TV, like it or not, reality TV is also, you get to do some form of acting, believe me, or believe it or not. So being on TV and being on reality TV and coming out of the show and, you know, having all the fame and, you know, clout and all of that around you, it's very quick to it's very quick to want to decide to just dive into any aspect of the industry for from for some sort of um, sustain, sustainability but at the same time for me i wanted to do acting because it was something i was very passionate about because i remember telling my mom one time i was like look i want to be in movies where i do my own stunts i want to be in movies where i you know i want to be known as one of the greatest 
movie action stars Nigeria has ever seen. So, and I know that it's for you to do that in Nigeria, you have to be consistent. You have to put yourself in the light that you have to be seen. So, being in the industry and coming from, you know, transitioning from Big Brother into Nollywood wasn't, it wasn't really so much of a transition for me, but it was more like a stepping stone to where I want to be. So, being here right now and doing what I'm doing, I'm loving it and I'm in my zone and I'm killing it. Yeah. Let's talk about a weekend to forget. Um, Erica, when you look at the movie, how would you, I don't want you to tell me the synopsis because I mean, you know, we know that, but how would you describe the movie for you? Artistically, how would you explain the movie to somebody who possibly cannot see it, but also would want to know about it? How would you describe it? So in the shortest form, it's a whodunit movie. It's a, <laughs> it's a thriller and everybody's a suspect. That was a murder. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> yes. Actually. Who done it? Can you give me more context? Because I'll tell you why I asked this question, right? When I think of a weekend to forget, I think of, you know, um, some of my favorite girl next door type of films, but not girl next door in the teenage sense. Girl next door in the uh, why did I get married? If you've seen that movie, uh, Tyler Perry kind of sense. That's the feel oh, that yes. I get off of it. Would yes, you describe yeah. it as that? Yes. Yes, a bunch of friends coming together to have fun. A bunch of um, couples together. <laughs> and then it turns into a horrible weekend. But the, the goal was to have a great weekend. Time. So yeah, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Neo, for you though, um, a couple of weeks ago, I had a conversation with uh, Shegun Arinze. I had a conversation with Charles Novia. And one of the things we talked about was just Nollywood in its sense and just the type of movies that we are creating now. Now, I know this, this obviously, like the, the, yeah. the, those guys have been in the industry for decades, you know, but still, what's your assessment yeah. of the movies we're releasing now? Movies like A Weekend to Forget, recent releases, as when you compare it to the dexterity that, you know, we see a lot of movies carry. How would you uh, pair a movie like A Weekend to Forget it? assessing technicalities, um, lighting, editing, sound. How would, you, how would you compare it? Yeah. Well, I would say for a fact that um, Nollywood is getting to a place where we, we kind of understand ourselves better. We kind of understand like, what it takes to give a good movie. Like, going to the days where people just do movies for the sake of it, just because you have one random you just want to shoot you just want to shoot anything today you see people investing so much in the story you see people spending so much time to get the proper cast you see people spending so much time to get the proper crew you see people, you see people spending so much time and dedication to actually get the proper set so there's people people now know their strength i feel like everyone else is trying to be so dedicated to even making the movie look good before shooting the movie itself you know the actors just obviously come and you know just add the icing on the cake and just make the finished work look good but i feel like so many people are going into production now to make movies in nigeria look as beautiful as they look right now from editing to the sound to the cameras and everything that they use you can tell that nollywood has upgraded from where it used to be 20 years ago and where we are right now i mean I can tell you for a fact that Nollywood movies right now are probably one of the greatest things to export in terms of entertainment. And I feel like a lot of people would agree. Okay. And The Weekend to Forget is one of those movies that you can tell that so much passion has been invested into trying to create that story. Because it's not easy for a director to put the whole, to set the whole movie in one location, mostly in one location, and the movie still looks good. You can tell from, you can tell with that that it, the story itself must have been super, super credible. So, mm. Yes. That's, All right. That's well, I think you did. You, you definitely, you know, gave a good analysis of that one. Thank you so much, Neo. Thank you so much, Erica, as well. And congratulations yeah. on putting that film together.